We're going to do Mohs surgery today, and we're going to use a form of tumescent antibiotic delivery as a form of local anesthesia. So these are the drugs that I'm using for tumescent antibiotic delivery for Mohs surgery. The first injection is very painless. I'm using the tiniest little needle available. This is a 32 gauge needle, local anesthetic. Because of the epinephrine, the local anesthetic and the antibiotic stays there for hours and hours and hours and it's very effective and you just pain and bleeding. And then finally, just before I do the surgery, I'll put the full strength 1% lidocaine with epinephrine in the incision sites. And I use that to inject this solution, which contains an 1 to 11 dilution of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. It's so dilute that it doesn't sting going in, but it has a very effective local anesthetic quality. The next, I'm going to be injecting this solution. It's a 1 to 5 dilution of lidocaine with epinephrine, but it contains an antibiotic, clindamycin. This will flood the area around the wound and give it a local anesthetic. Because of the epinephrine, the local anesthetic and the antibiotic stays there for hours and hours and hours, and it's very effective, and you just pain and bleeding. And then finally, just before I do the surgery, I'll put the full strength 1% lidocaine with epinephrine in the incision sites.